Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Paloma. My artist name is Paloma the Peach. And for today, I am gonna be giving you guys a little digital draw with me. And I've done these quite a few times on my channel and you guys seem to really love them. So for this time, I am gonna be using Clip Studio Paint, a digital drawing program. And this video is also sponsored by Clip Studio Paint, so thank you to them. Yeah, let's just get into how I personally use the program and like some updated techniques on how I digitally draw and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get into it. So this is the tablet that I use for drawing. It is an iPad Pro. I use my Apple Pencil. I also have a paper like screen protector on it just because feels good when I draw on it. I prefer it to like a slippery glass screen. And this is Clip Studio Paint. So Clip Studio Paint is available on tablets like an iPad and such, but it's also available on desktop if you like using stuff like Wacom tablets and stuff like that. On smartphone and tablet, Clip Studio Paint is subscription based, but if you do decide to get it on desktop, it has a perpetual license. So it is a one-time purchase and then you're good to go. Now, as far as my digital art process goes, I now basically exclusively work from my sketchbook. So I will always take something from my sketchbook and then put it in digitally uh, just because, I don't know, I feel like it's a better process for me. And for today, I'm gonna be doing this guy. And now I have my little guy on my canvas and I'm just gonna center him. And I'm gonna turn down the opacity just enough so I can see the lines that I'm working with. And this mode that I'm in is like the studio mode. And you can switch between two different modes in Clip Studio Paint. Uh, this one is, like I said, the studio mode and it's more similar to like a desktop sort of software. And this right here is the color mixing tool, which I personally really like. And I have this color palette set up just when I was playing around with it. So I have these three. And now I can blend these guys together to make them feel a little bit more cohesive. I really enjoy this color mixing tool from Clip Studio Paint because I feel like when you draw digitally, a lot of times it can be a little bit overwhelming to choose colors. I feel like this kind of ties in that more traditional feel of mixing paint tubes rather than having like an infinite choice of colors. Yeah, I think this makes like really, this makes for like a really cohesive color palette. Clip Studio Paint has two different modes, which is studio mode, what you just saw, and now I just switched into simple mode, which is a lot easier to use for beginners or just simply feels a little bit more approachable to some. My mood changes, and depending on my mood is kind of how, which kind of brushes I like to use. So for this one, I'm gonna use the pencil brush, and I'm just gonna roughly outline my sketch. So now that I have outlined my guy, I feel like I kind of want to make him shorter and I also want to make him a little bit wider. So I'm going to use a transform tool and... Okay, so now I have him how I want him and now it's time to do some painting. So I'm going to go to a layer underneath my line art and start painting away. My favorite brush in Clip Studio Paint is this oil paint brush, and it's because depending on how much pressure you put when you're drawing is how much it will blend to the color next to it in the same layer, which is pretty cool. Now for my underpainting layer, I am gonna use this orangey red color that I really like to use. I use any brush that is like a watercolor or inky sort of brush because I love how it's not super opaque and I love how it layers. I kind of want that underpainting look to it. And I'm actually gonna go in on the same layer with that oil paint brush 
and start painting on top of it because I really like how the oil paintbrush mixes and pulls in colors as I said and it's gonna keep that nice warm undertone that we put on underneath Something that really surprised me about Clip Studio Paint is that the in-app brushes are so heavily based on traditional brushes and that's something that I personally really enjoy and is kind of difficult to find. I feel like in a lot of other programs you have to purchase extra brushes to kind of find what you need, but the brushes that I work with in this program are very painterly, which I very much love. Let's see, now I have to choose the color of my boots, and I think I'm going to go with this magenta, maybe? For the soles of the boots, I'm just going to keep the same color as the line art. And I just, I'm obsessed with like all these subtle shifts in hue that you see here. That's something that I really try to keep with my art. And now I want to paint some little spots on this fishy guy. I was hoping for these to be a little bit more natural, so I'm gonna kind of paint around the edges to make them a little bit less perfect. Now I've kind of got my base layer going on and now I want to add some more texture and character to it because right now it's looking a little bit bland. I want to give some more, some more oomph to these spots. So I'm going to try with like a lighter version of this color just for more of that painting vibe, you know? And also notice how I'm not using the eraser for any of the painting of the actual piece itself. Like I'll use it if I accidentally mark stuff out here, but I won't use an eraser for like around here, for example, to get rid of where I got out of my line art because I want to use quote unquote paint, digital paint to do that. Just adds to that traditional feel, you know? So I'm like fixing it up with this oil painting brush. And now it's like, it's basically covered, but it also kind of leaves a few spots there where you can kind of tell. And I just, I live for that, you know? I don't know why, but I just do. I don't know what to do about this skin tone. I think I'm gonna actually make it darker. Yes, that is much better. And now let me redo that blush. Cute. Let me blush up his knees too. Where his knees would be. Now, what color to make the star? So I think I'm going to make them maybe this color. Now I kind of want to do something with the line art. Hmm, I want to add some more pizzazz, some more variance to it. Because sometimes I feel like if something is fairly simple and you don't want it to be, you can play around with the line art. So I'm going to make this layer into a color burn layer and if you don't know what that is, most digital painting programs, you can change the blending mode and you know, it'll always be on normal when you first start. But I'm going to put it on color burn and because that's something that I've really been loving lately. And I'm going to go down to like about 50% opacity. And I have this magenta color that I put in the boots on my brush. And it's just like a plain, it's this thin gouache brush, but like any sort of plain inking brush. And I'm just going to go along some of the edges. 
providing some interest. I really like how it's layering on this red, for example, so I want it to show there some more. Maybe some areas that you want to highlight, you want to do this. I kind of like just doing this, again, to add some more interest and also bring everything together a little bit more, you know? Now, actually, after I did that, I kind of want to do something in the boots. You guys know I love doing... I love my cowboy boots and I love doing flowers in my cowboy boots, so... I'm gonna add that. I think it adds a little bit of detail. I kinda wanna <laughs> put something behind him now, like some sort of background. Like some sort of painterly background. Let's see. Nope, don't like that brush for that. that pink color and now we gotta fix this up drew on clip studio paint i had a lot of fun making him i tried to show you guys a little bit more of newer techniques that i've been trying out and as you can probably tell how i incorporate more traditional techniques into digital drawing just because in my style i feel like it adds some more character it adds more interest and it's also like not as inconvenient <laughs> as traditional work. I love traditional work and I'll never let it go, but sometimes I don't feel like taking out all my paints and filling up a cup of water and all this stuff. It's really nice to be able to do it on an iPad. Clip Studio Paint is just an amazing digital drawing program that can allow you to create any sort of artwork. It is very adaptable to any style. As you can see, I particularly really enjoy the painting aspect of it. I think it has a really great painterly interface. I recommend everybody try it out. There's a lot of digital drawing programs out there and I know that I like to try a lot of new things so if you're looking to spice it up or you're looking to get into digital drawing you can download Clip Studio Paint. I have a link in my description. Uh, you can download it like I said on a tablet, smartphone, computer, and as I mentioned earlier there is a free trial so you can try it out. But yeah I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was helpful and I will see you guys in the next one.